Now it's time for a GMA cover story and our all in on AI series. Becky Worley is back with a deeper look at the te technology's role in education, whether students should be using it for homework. Hey, Becky. George, good morning. For students doing their homework using AI tools like ChatGPT, Google Gemini, or an image generator like DALI, that's cheating, right? Or is it? How does the use of this new technology in schools differ from our initial reactions to calculators or spell check or Wikipedia? For students and educators, the question, is it okay to use AI, has only one answer right now. It's complicated. Students copy and paste that response from ChatGPT, claiming it as their own work. To students at Cape High, ChatGPT isn't a foreign language. Is artificial intelligence like ChatGPT increasing cheating in school, or is it helpful for learning? These high schoolers from Hedroy School in Oakland, California, say maybe both. So you use ChatGPT almost as a tutor? More or less. Not to ask it for an answer, which I think that's the problem, but rather to explain a concept, to understand the why as opposed to the, just the answer itself. Or if they get stuck on a computer science or math problem. I feel like when you're stuck and you've like tried all these things, it's valid to ask ChatGPT. And naturally, once you ask it, you're going to understand like why it was the answer is the way it is. But some say kids turn to AI when they're desperate. I also think like a lot of chat GPT use comes from uh, like students being overwhelmed with schoolwork. Dr. Denise Pope of Stanford University has been surveying students about cheating for more than a decade. So the fear was that chat GPT was going to unleash a flood of cheating behavior in students. But she says her data is not showing that increase, but adds that parents should still talk to kids about the technology. You want to make sure your student knows what the rules of the school are. How many of you know the school's policy on use of chat GPT for assignments? Nobody? Hmm. Okay. Is it that, like, you can use it sometimes? You can use it sometimes. <laughs> Usually the teachers will make it clear before the assignment. Some don't. And determining what constitutes cheating is tricky. Like, you're assigned a paper and you ask chat GPT for help with the outline. Cheating? Not cheating. Or the paper you wrote is 200 words too long. You put that into ChatGPT and say, help me cut this down to 1,000 words. Cheating? Not cheating. But Dr. Pope has one simple metric. Is this going to be helpful for you in terms of learning what it is you're supposed to learn today? Or is this going to be harmful? Is this someone else doing the work for you and you're just pushing a button and, um, and not really putting in the effort? And the kids know AI is here to stay. I think banning chat GBT would just be ineffective. And it's much more helpful if we actually learn to integrate into the curriculum and teach students how to use it effectively. True. Those kids primarily use ChatGPT at Head Royce, but there are many AI tools that are in play right now. Google Gemini, the homework helper, uh, it's called Oddity AI, many others. Um, but George, we are just looking at the tip of the iceberg on this sure. AI issue. No question about that. That, that insight from the doctor uh, was good, helpful versus harmful. How do parents help? Yeah, I mean, we talked to the folks at ChatGPT. They have a whole list of resources for parents and educators alike at their website. So really, parents need to get familiar with it themselves. Um, that advice, does this help or does this hurt your learning? You're so right. That really helps kids distill this down. And then another tip really important, if you use an AI tool like ChatGPT, you should always cite it as a source in your work. And if that makes your student nervous, uh, it's a pretty good sign that they know that's not the right way to use artificial intelligence, George. Some good guidelines there. Okay, Becky, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.